I don't know if you will be able to see it right here on the left here underneath this uh, overpass. There's a bunch of homeless people up here camping in the tents. Half mile. Go straight on I-30. That's always sad to see. Man, I couldn't imagine living like that, you know? That's just how it goes, I guess, sometimes in life. Some people are just more fortunate than others, right? I'm always happy that I still have a job then, you know? Sometimes we complain that we, you know, don't make a lot of money or, you know, our truck is breaking down or this or that, you know? But instead of living underneath the tent like that, I, you know, I am still happy with what I got. But this is rush hour for you going through Dallas, Texas right now. Yeah, it's pretty slow going, but yeah, well, we'll get through it. I'm pretty sure we will. Eventually, at least. Yes. Everybody's trying to sneak in at the last minute here, eh? Yeah, well. That's how it usually goes, eh? Right at the last second, they just got to try and sneak in here. Look at these guys. Yeah. But well, looks like they're building a lot more overpasses up here. All the construction that they got going on here. Well, oh, look at that. Even there on the right, you can even see some nice buildings from downtown Dallas. Yeah. Oh yeah, now you're gonna be able to see it. No problem. Isn't that gorgeous? Especially for some of you that have never been in Dallas or never been in big cities like these. I'm sure most of you guys have been, but not everybody, right? Some people live in small communities and they never get to see sceneries like these, you know? I was going to mount the camera on the on top of the mirror there, like I haven't done that in a while. That's been because of the weather conditions, you know, it hasn't been great weather in the last while, so... I haven't done it, but uh, I was going to do it this, this before I got here to Dallas, but... Uh, it was really foggy there this morning, so... I thought, well, probably is useless doing it anyways, so... And here we are, now it's cleared up, just as we got into downtown and cleared up. Oh well, what can you do, eh? I'll probably leave the camera on for a little bit. Give you guys the nice sceneries up here. Look at the nice wide highway that we got up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lanes. Yeah. Luckily the, the traffic is lightening up right now. Got the train tracks uh, just to the right up here. That's where the high speed train is probably going to go. Go into the downtown areas. Probably people that go to work probably take that train every day. Yeah. Well at least the sun has finally come out. Got nice sunshine now. Oh, look at that. They even got a waterfall up there to the right. I don't know if you would have been able to see it, but it's a Coors Light logo. I don't know if you guys seen the commercial on the internet there with the Coors Light. But yeah, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful city, that's for sure. Look at this white building up here. They must have spent millions of dollars into this building. All the artwork that they got on it. Oh yeah. Oh well. We should have a good day today. We managed to get out of Houston yesterday, which was very, very good.
it looks like we got another beautiful beautiful set of overpasses here these songs they look pretty nice yet they they don't look that old yet I I think you guys probably can tell by now that I do love big overpasses like these it's beautiful to see you know I mean at least for me it is pretty sure for some of you it's going to be very interesting too but not everybody but most of you probably well guys tell me what you know where this place is it is right across the state line when you come out of Texas into Oklahoma on I-35 northbound oh yeah they got a huge casino up here just a little bit down the road it's beautiful too well here it is right to the right I don't know how much of it you're gonna be able to see but uh, it is gorgeous beautiful beautiful you should drive by here at night and look all the beautiful lighting that they got on these buildings you know I mean they must be making millions of dollars in this building because they, they I mean that is a huge building they, they probably got thousands of people in there every day oh well I ain't gonna go in there and waste my money today I got some miles that I got to drive so we're putting the hammer down the toll booth in Wichita, Kansas. We're gonna have to pay our dues. It says on the paper here that we're supposed to pay five bucks, so let's see. Good afternoon. What's that? Yeah. Alrighty. Here we go, five bucks. That is what it says on the paperwork. In a half mile, Actually, that's not to too right bad. North. I've been at places where you have to pay more than that. But we're, this is probably the last toll highway that we're gonna go on. Until next trip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should have any more travel plazas or toll booth to go to by the time we get to uh, Madison at Alberta. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a good day. Keep uh, to the nice, right on uh, 35 North. Nice sunshine pretty much all day. It looked like here for the last little stretch that they had had some rain. But uh, I didn't encounter any. Yeah, I think Continue it's been a very good day. Miles. It's not been uh, super windy like it was there uh, two days ago. Today has been a very, very good day. For for not windy or no ice rain, no uh, no rain at all, no snow at all been nice and sunny that's good that's the way we like it I got about a hundred miles to go and then we will be on uh, I-70 there uh, where is a flying J and a pilot up there we'll see where we can find parking 
by the time we get there yeah you know, we'll call it a day probably have about 620 miles in today then that's a good a day a good day driving good enough for me at least and then we will be uh, continuing tomorrow well here we are in Salina Kansas I parked at the Fly and J and we had lots of parking here when I got here I got here about 6 30 this uh, evening and uh, we have lots of parking up here so uh, I attempted to uh, purchase a uh, yearly subscription of internet through the Flying J at, uh, at the beginning of January it was the very first few days in January and it still gave me the option to purchase it for a full year and uh, I went ahead and entered all my credit card information and all that and submitted it and then it kept saying process and so it wouldn't go through so I ended up calling them at, uh, at the technical support and they looked into it and they looked into it and they wouldn't really give me any reason to why it would do that all they did is uh, they said well just keep an eye on your credit card if it if it all of a sudden goes through and whatever and this and that and, and so it never did go through and so they just ended up uh, doing something at their end so that way I had for one for one night I would have internet and so here I am today I want to purchase it uh, I wanted to purchase it there a couple of times already and it always just kept giving me a option to purchase it for 30 days and I thought maybe I had something to do with it well guess what it ended up not having to do anything with it I think they screwed us over what I wanted explain to you is we used to be able to purchase a one-year subscription for internet for 149.99 US dollars and you could do that right there online you purchase it and you had internet for one year which wasn't too bad of a price and guess what no they changed it they changed it to a 30-day subscription only that's the maximum you can purchase or less and they want to charge you uh, 19.99 per month I did the calculation on that that's a $240 a year and my lights are going to go off here pretty soon I think because my alarm just went off but uh, yeah so that pissed me right off I told the guy right you know like this is ridiculous you know like I mean we buy thousands of dollars of fuel from you guys and and you guys don't even want to give us free internet or give us a good price on internet I told him that's a bunch of baloney I said well you said well they are actually thinking about maybe giving it to you guys for free well I said they should so we buy millions and millions of dollars worth of fuel at every single flying J every year there's thousands of damn flying J's out there pardon my language but I am pretty pissed off of this because uh, I mean here we are we buy thousands and thousands of dollars worth of fuel at their places and then we eat at their places and then they want us to purchase fuel, uh, the internet on top of it which I don't have a problem with if you want to charge for it but at least give us a decent price you know but here no no they want to rip us off you know charges two hundred and forty dollars a year for an internet you know like which we used to pay 150 for I mean that's just getting greedy I think the flying J is getting greedy but anyways that's my two cents of it I'm just pretty pissed off of it and uh, hey I just figured I let most of you guys know I know probably trucker jukebox is uh, probably got a year's worth of prescription for the internet so I guarantee you next year you ain't going to be able to do that and probably trucker Josh too he probably has the uh, one year subscription too because when I talked to him he said he was doing it at the flying J's all the time so I'm pretty sure he purchased he used to purchase the one year subscription so you can no longer do that so just figure give you guys a heads up that 
you better prepare yourself put out some money to have internet which I think is not fair like I said we, we purchase so much fuel up here I mean I, I buy probably 17 1800 uh, gallons a month at the Flying J and uh, I mean that's a few few dollars you know a few thousand dollars not just a few dollars you know and then you want to rip us off with internet yet yeah, too so that's just to me that's just getting out of hand and greedy you know but that's my two cents of it I had enough of that we are done for today we got a thousand and four kilometers in today which is a very good day probably do about the same tomorrow or even maybe a little bit more we'll see how it goes and then even more the day after that probably we'll do closer to 1100 the day after that but then we will be in Canada which we are allowed to drive more hours and then we'll be doing that so anyways uh, that's enough it's a long enough show for today I think but anyways uh, we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks for watching